How's it going? How's it going, YouTube? This is Tyfire23 here, and I am your coach for the Atlanta Braviary. Now, this is our week four battle in Pika, the Pokemon International Championship Association. And we are currently one and two. Uh, we won our first week, and then we sort of went against our division rivals and sort of got... We lost. Um, there were great battles. Uh, last week... It's hard to say exactly what went wrong. Uh, I think my mindset went out due to the fact that I had to leave for work halfway through the battle. And so it sort of caused me to not think straight when I came back into it. And so... I don't know why this is all screwed up on here. Um, let me make sure... It's good. It's good. That's good. Right, that's good. I don't know why, but it's, uh, one of my mom's EV spread was wrong. Um, that's good. I know that now, but so it, it was definitely going to be difficult last week when I had to leave for work and here's, uh, Nick and the Iowa Focus Energy had a really good team, but it's in the past. We're on to week four. It's a brand new week, brand new game. Now we are going against science guy, Josh and the middle earth magmortars and they are the one team to rule them all. Like, they are an amazing team. They have such an amazing lineup. And it's going to be very, very difficult for us going into this week just because I don't know what he's going to bring. Because he has so many good threats. And he has so many things that can just wall us completely. So, let's go ahead and talk about his team matchup that he brought. Or well, can bring. He has Mega Guard of War, Kieran Black, Infernape, Breloom, Vaporeon, Crocodile, Klefki, Tornadus T, Drapion, Lantern, and Nidoking. King. Um, the only mon I'm not too worried about is Lantern, just because we have ways of getting around on electric water type. Um, and I don't see him bringing any answers anyways. Uh, the rest of his team, though, Mega Guard of War and Karen Black, scary. Infernape, scary. Breloom can be scary, depending on what, what you do with it. Uh, Spore is going to be annoying. If he does not bring the Breloom, we're good. But if we bring the Breloom, Spore is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's be honest. Uh, Vaporeon uh, is very bulky, physical or special. Mainly to see a physical, but still, it's very bulky and it's really annoying. Wish and Heal Battle of Matama Pass is not going to be fun. Um, Crocodile, he's been running house with Crocodile these past few weeks, so I expect him to bring it again. And it's going to be very, very difficult to go against that. Uh, Tornadus T, a good mine, a really good mine. Klefki is really annoying with Thunderway Prankster. It's going to be so annoying. Uh, Drapion, a lot of people sleep on it. It's really good with Poison Dark Typing. It makes it have one less weakness to Psychic due to being Dark Type. And Sniper, Scope Lens, Night Slash. You're gonna get critted. It's going to happen. Um, Lantern. And, like I said, I, I have ways around that. And then, Nidoking is a scary mine. Uh, he picked up the last round, which I'm surprised Nidoking went that long. Uh, we used Nidra King in the ISL, and it was a monster. Uh, just Toy Scarf that thing, or Life Orb it, and you are seriously going to just wreck house with Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Sludge Wave. Uh, I think it's Thunderbolt as well, but then you can also run Earthquake, uh, Poison Jab. You could run, I think it's Rock Slide or Stone Edge. Like, it has so many, it's a diverse mod when it comes with moveset. So let's go ahead and talk about our team, shall we? Please work. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. We were having difficulties last time we tried to record this, and it didn't work. So, But we're here. We got it. Uh, so this week, we're bringing Red Arrow back. But he decided, you know what? I'm good the way I am. I don't need no Mega Stone. I don't need to turn into some other form. I'm good just the way I am. And so that's why he's rocking, rocking that choice band. Uh... With a choice band, he can pretty much one shot Karen Black and Mega Guard War with a bullet punch. As long as I'm not burned. So that's really good. Uh, U turn is going to be really, really useful just due to switch initiative. It's going to be crucial in this game. Um, knock off, because knocking off items like Twist Scarf, stuff like that's really going to come in handy. But if I can knock off Twist Scarf off that Crocodile, that'd be great. Um, and then Aerial Ace, mainly for that Breloom. I can see him bringing in the Breloom on Scizor just to eat up a Bullet Punch. And I can try to predict that and just go for an Aerial Ace and be good to go. Um, so that's pretty much him. He's a bulky bandit. He's not that fast with 65 base speed. So I'm not going to worry about putting speed investment into him. 
as long as I can eat up hits and then dish out a lot of damage with Choice Band and Bullet Punch, I'm good to go. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about next mod, which is Arm Check. This is literally our check, and I need to remember that when I go into the battle. If he has Breloom, switch in Virizion. Mainly due to the fact it's Grass type, so it does not take effect from the Spore. It is immune. We're immune to it. So, because he's going to Spore things and try to set up on us. So if I can switch in Virizion when he's going for Spore, I'm good. And then he'll probably be like, "Oh, I don't. I have nothing to do with this thing. I'm gonna switch out. I can go for a Calm Mind." And then I am fast enough with 108 speed. I outspeed a lot of things on this team. Max speed, timid. So I have Focus Blast, mainly for all his like dark types and stuff like that and steel types. And then Giga Drain, just to get HP back. It can do a lot of work. And hit him power flying. And for some reason he wants to stay in with the Breloom, I can just hit him power flying it and I am good. Because um, after a Calm Mind, it should Oko, being four times effective. So we're running a timid nature just for the extra speed. A little bit into this HP, just because it was an even number, and I don't like even numbers in my HP, so we just threw it into HP. Not really that much of a difference. Like, I think it was down to 322. Yeah, so, just put 4 in HP just so we have that extra point, so we can live on 1 if it does exactly 50%. We can live on 1. So, uh, next, we're bringing, these next three mons are going to be interesting. Uh, this is our defensive wall for this game. Uh... Overheat, will o -Wisp, Volt Switch, and Pain Split. I can live any hit from a Physical Attacking Kieran Black, a Physical Attacking Nidoking, King, a Physical Crocodile. I can live hits from those, and then hit it with a Volt uh, a will o -Wisp and burn them and cripple them. Done. Um, I mean, this is a standard Rotom Heat Crookington stat. It really is standard. Overheat, Volt Switch is for initiative, and then Pain Split. If I know, hey, he's probably going to switch out, and I'm low on HP, let me just Pain Split real quick, get the HP back. Um, and then max HP, max defensive, a little bit in special attack to do a little more damage, and he's bold. I mean, it's just standard, this is our defensive wall, this is our checks to those defensive cores. Now, our next mon is our one of two, yes, I said two, special defensive walls. Uh, goodbye Misty, I feel he has one poison type, yes, but normally people run Nidoking King as a physical b attacker. So, I can live hits from it specially. Um, I can, uh, eat up hits from the Mega Gardevoir, I can eat up hits from the Vaporeon, I can eat up hits from a lot of different things, and I can just T-Wave them, the T-Wave them and Air Slash. I know it's annoying, but it's really all I really got. Um, Air Slash, if I need to switch it on the Breloom, and Breloom just can't do anything to me, Air Slash, done. Uh, if something else puts gets put to sleep, I'm switching it out, and I'm switching in Togekiss, Mainly, I could heal bell it off, or if he wants to stay in with Barry, he's like, oh, he's going to heal bell. Let me spore it. No, just go for an air slash and kill it. Um, Serene Grace, just so we can get uh, more flinches if need be. And then Roost, just to get back all of our HP, because we have decent HP. Uh, but this is our special wall. It's calm nature, just so we can eat up all the special hits that are out there. Now, our next mod is also especially defensive. We're bringing Newborn a specially defensive mod, which is Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled, Psy Shock, and Will-O-Wisp. This is our rock setter. We set up the rocks. Hopefully, this is the ideal situation. I lead off with Mew. He leads off with Crocodile. He thinks, oh, Mew's here. He's either going to switch out or go for stealth rocks. Okay, let me go for knockoff. I have the Culverberry. I can eat up any hit. Because being mass HP, I can eat up any hit. I think it uh, after the Culverberry, it does like 30%, 30%, 40%. Like, doesn't do a whole lot. And then I can burn it. Like, if I have an opportunity to get hit with a knockoff from a crocodile, I am burning the hell out of that thing and crippling it done. I can't do anything to it after that. I'm going to switch out. But I'm, it's pretty much our check to get rid of the crocodile, make sure it's useless so that we can finish it up later. Because um, if we do that, his one mon who has been destroying... Every match that he's in, just gonna kill after kill after kill, is done for. Can't do anything else. Um, so the last one that we're bringing is a very interesting. We brought him Choice Bandit last week, but he decided to put the band down, pick up a scarf, and he wants to just tie it, tie it around his tie it around his neck, and go in. Uh, he has enough speed investment to outspeed a good portion of uh, everything on the opponent's team. I think it outspeeds everything, but I could be wrong. 
Um, I can see wave things just because I was just like, okay. There's no way, like, if he has the Inferno Pal, T Wave it, done. God of War, T Wave, done. Kingdom Black, T Wave, done. Tornadoes, T Wave, done. Like, if I can T Wave things, that's great. It's only just in case I absolutely need it. But, like, if I'm going against a mod that has no priority and I need, and it's like sweeping, but it's not Crocodile, I can just T Wave. Uh, but Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Crunch just for, Rock Slide and Crunch for Stab, and then Earthquake just for an extra damage. It's mods like Infernape. I can outspeed it. Mach Punch is going to hurt, but I can just, besides the Mach Punch, I can outspeed and hit it with an Earthquake and be good to go. Uh, so that's pretty much our team. Uh, as soon as this video is over, we're going to go battle them. But, oh, I didn't think of Tyranitar. Godzilla! Um, but yeah, we're run, rocking with Red Arrow, Elegancy, Cookington, Goodbye Misty, Newborn, and Godzilla. Godzilla. So. Wish us luck, and let's go ahead into that battle, and I will see you all then.